Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pakdura Trunks. It is almost the end of October and we welcome the month of November. Did you know guys that Microsoft releases their latest Windows update? The Windows 10 2020 October update, also known as Windows 10 20H2. Microsoft keeps making Windows better and better for the user's interface. And for those who are running a Windows 10 in their system, maybe these features are for you. Before you can update to their latest features, you must have the following prerequisite before applying the update. First, servicing stock update for Windows 10 version 2004 on September 8, 2020 or later servicing stock updates and October 13, 2020, KB4579311 or later cumulative update. As you can see here in the Windows update that you can now roll the 20H2 Windows update. Now we're gonna be taking a closer look of these new features in Windows 10 20H2 update. First is the start menu. Dito sa start menu, makikita mo na inalis nila yung solid colors behind the apps icon so you can see the icon a lot better. And apply a partially transparent background to the tiles para makita natin yung content behind the start menu. At maganda din yung contrast ng colors no matter what you choose. So this feature is really a awesome reworks in the start menu. Second is the notification. The pop-up notification now have the apps icon para malaman natin kung ano ang apps or programs o saan galing yung notification. Alam nyo naman na yung notification ay related sa focus assist. Here in 20H2 Windows Update, they limit the focus assist notification para hindi ka na mabothered sa unnecessary pop-ups. Pero kung gusto mo talaga makita lahat ng activities ng computer mo, you can enable focus assist manually or automatically. Third is the device spec on settings menu. Go to the settings menu, system, About, here, they added a copy button so you can easily paste it on a help desk support o kahit saan o kanino that needed your system specs. At meron din silang idinagdag dito sa right corner ng menu parang classic control panel capabilities tulad ng device manager, remote desktop, or rename a PC. Buksan lang natin itong control panel Sa nakita ninyo dito sa bagong 20H2 Windows update that Microsoft is trying to move from classic control panel to the newer and modern control panel. Fourth is refresh rate on display settings. Go to display settings. Advanced display settings. Dito meron ka ng easy access sa refresh rate sa paborito mong monitor. Fifth is tablet mode. Sa dating version ng Windows, kapag nag-detach ka ng 2-in-1 device or transformer laptops, meron kang notification na matatanggap says switch to tablet mode. Kapag nag-yes, automatic nag-switch siya sa tablet mode. Kapag no naman, siyempre sa desktop ka lang. Here in 20H2 Windows Update, it will automatic switch you to the tablet mode if you detach a 2-in-1 laptop. 6 is Microsoft Edge and its alt-tab capabilities. Kapag nag-roll out ka ng 20H2 update, Microsoft Edge is already pre-installed in the system. Hindi mo na kailangan 
i-download at i-install ito sa system. The newer Edge browser was built in on a Chromium-based engine. Now you can perform a multitask in the Microsoft Edge browser. Pwede ka nang mag-alt tab not only your apps, pati na rin yung mga tabs sa Microsoft Edge. So you can select what tabs are you working on. You can modify the alt tab experience in settings menu, system, multitask. Here we can select what tabs or how many tabs you want to display. In this version of Microsoft Edge, mas pinaganda, mas pinalakas, at mas reliable na ito pagdating sa performance. In this 2020 update, walang masyadong add-in si Microsoft. Baka nag-focus lang talaga sila sa bug issues, bug fixes sa update na ito. What do you think guys? Nagustuhan nyo ba yung bagong update ni Microsoft? Uh, just let me know and comment down below. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel. Before I go guys, I have an awesome merch below. If you are looking for a cheap Windows 10 and Office license key, please check it guys. And see you in my next video. Bye!